Good morning, little spirits. It's Sunday, January the 16th. Welcome. I hope you had a wonderful week, your first week back to school. For some of you, some of you don't go to school yet. But boys and girls, I hope that you've had a wonderful week. And today is a very special Sunday as we celebrate the first miracle that Jesus made. A miracle is something that you and I cannot do. Only Jesus did the miracle, right? <clears throat> and he continues to do miracles even today. So boys and girls, we see Jesus. And do you know who this woman is? Right, it's Mother Mary. And they are at a party. Does anybody know what kind of party it is? Oh, very good. It's a wedding. We'll find out about that. Now let's get started. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So it is Sunday, January the 16th, and we're going to talk about a wedding and Jesus being at this wedding. Now, back in Jesus' time, weddings would last more than one day. They would last many days. So here we see a wedding couple, and we see that um, people are at the wedding, but something happens. They ran out of something. Do you know what they ran out of? Does anybody know what kind of drink they had at this wedding? What would typically they would have, right? They would have water. And they would have wine. And what happens is they run out of wine. And Jesus' mother asks him to do something. The servants come and they bring him a jug of water. And you know what he does? He turns the water into wine. So let's read that gospel. The gospel today is from John. Jesus and his mother, along with his disciples, were invited to a wedding in the town called Cana. There was food to eat and wine to drink, and the celebration carried on through the evening. Throughout the evening, then Mary came to Jesus and said, Son, there is no more wine for the guests to drink. Why do you ask for help Why, when my time has not yet come? Jesus asked. But Mary turned to the servants and said to them, do whatever Jesus tells you. And nearby stood six very large water jugs. And Jesus told the servants to fill them up with water. Now they didn't look like this and they were way, way bigger and they were made out of clay. They were great big water jugs. But they were filled not with water, but they were typically filled with wine. And so Jesus asked them to fill it with just plain water. And then all of a sudden, the miracle happened. The water changed to wine. And after tasting it, the head waiter went to the bridegroom and said, Sir, you have certainly saved the very best wine till until last. The celebration carried on and there was plenty of wine for everyone. Those who knew what Jesus had done were filled with wonder by the sign of his power. Wow, that is pretty amazing. That is not something you and I can do. We cannot change water into something else. Only Jesus can do that. And that is a miracle. That's the Jesus first miracle. Now, can you imagine? Mary felt bad. She, was she asking anything for herself? No, she was asking Jesus for help for the people, the bride and groom, because it would have been very, very uncomfortable and embarrassing for the bride and groom if they ran out of wine to drink at the wedding. And Mary said to the servants, do whatever he asked you. You know what? You and I are like the servants. Whatever Jesus asks us to do, because God is always ready to help you and me. We just need to ask him. And saying his name is a prayer. So let's say that prayer. Jesus. Together. 
Jesus, that is a prayer. Jesus, help me today. Help me to be what you want me to do. Help me be what you created me to be so that I can be a light in this world. Boys and girls, have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.